and it just they are also unaware about their menstrual cycle so it comes unannounced so they're readily available anything at all that can just absorb or hold blood that's what they use and then recently when i traveled to the north too mm -hmm. through um, some of these interactions mm -hmm. i came across these young girls who also admitted to using ash as taco ash yes oh wow yes yes in fact how, how i have it that? i have the recording yes so she was like she uses ash because you know when she gathers them mm -hmm. and then add a bit of water, water. and then dampen it it's it a thickens. good yes it's a good absorbent yes okay. it absorbs a lot of water so when they put it there mm -hmm. they just need something to just i mean menstruate like to just hold up the blood yeah. from leaking or soiling their yeah. dresses and then irrespective of the i mean these things expose them to severe health risk exactly and in fact some of them too i had to they had no option but they were pushed to exchange sex for part in fact that's one of the co exchange yes. sex for part yes it's very common it's a common trade in the poorest areas of ghana yes wow. where young girls are pushed to i mean sleep with men mostly um, older men just so they can have uh, money to purchase sanitary parts oh. yeah so it's very sad and then it, it exposes them to teenage pregnancy yeah, exactly. sexually transmitted diseases mm -hmm. and some of these young girls get pregnant drop out of school mm -hmm. starts uh, families at very early stage yeah. repeating the cycle of poverty and then inequalities in their communities so you see how exactly. yeah yeah that's the issue about menstruation